Hi, it's Lynette here and I've got this big bag full of my household and cleaning empties. I wanted to keep it separate from my beauty empties because <laughs> that video has got enough in it anyway. Um, I've already filmed one of these. I haven't put it up yet, so I'll put it up soon. But these kind of won't be monthly. They'll be as and when I fill the bag. Um, you Hopefully more than once a month now. It's just Steve and I in the house. I'm just going to go through and I'll explain a wee bit about my the products that I'm using, what I'm enjoying and um, the candles that I've kind of burnt so far this month or over the last couple of months. So the first item I have got here, and it won't be any surprise to you, is a two litre bottle of <laughs> Thick Citrus Fresh Bleach. Now it's from Aldi, it's Power Force and it's recommended by the Good Housekeeping Institute as well and it's cruelty free. So that's a big tub. I used that actually to soak some things in recently so I finished that off. Um, the bleach that I usually buy, I just lost the label on it, is the one that I kind of, it's a thick bleach as well, Power Force again from Aldi and um, it, it's this kind of size of container because it's got that, I, I, I do put toilet cleaner around but I do tend to put bleach down a couple of times a week as well. So yeah, it's, um, I think every household's got their bleach, don't they? Probably going through a bit more because of COVID and what have you, aren't they? So I'm on a mission to try all these different liquids, um, soap detergent things, because I've used powder, um, combination between surf and aerial <laughs> for about 20 years. So I discovered these liquids, um, detergents, and I'm absolutely loving them. So this is an Aldi one, cheap as chips, 57 washes, and lavender and spring jasmine. So there we go. Yeah, that, that um, did the job it needed to do. It was really reasonably priced and um, yeah, it left the clothes smelling really nice. And um, yeah, got a nice fresh smell. So what can I say about that? I would definitely repurchase. It's not a two in one though. And this next one is another Alma one, which is Aldi. And it's soft, luxurious fabric conditioner in strawberry and magnolia. So you get 33 washes out of that. Wasn't the strongest smelling conditioner, but it still left the clothes smelling nice. Um, I've got two of these. And it's my absolute favorite um, cleaning product ever for bathroom, kitchen, anywhere. Anywhere if you've got tiles that have got mold on them or you've got stuff that's hard to shift, to patch test, of course, don't put it on anything that um, isn't suitable for bleach, but it's Silic Bang Bleach and Hygiene, and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, and it is one of the most powerful cleaners I have ever used. I always talk about when I cleaned the top of my cupboards, the ones above the cooker, there would be a mixture of um, oil and dust, and it just sets and it was almost like scrubbing from hours with a, you know, those smelly soap pads that just give me the fear just thinking about it, scrubbing away for hours. And then the first time I used this, I literally sprayed it on the top, left it a couple of minutes, came back and wiped it off. <laughs> Honestly, I was blown away. So I've had quite a lot of cleaning that I wanted to do recently. Hence why I've gone through two bottles. And as I say, it works a wonder on my tiles for getting the, the, the moulding bits out from the, the grouting. Now these are products, this is a product, sorry, it's a glass wipe. Um, I think I picked it up from it was Home Bargains or somewhere. So it's for mirrors and windows, cuts through grease and dirt. It's a quick drying formula. Now I just pick these up and do the mirrors with them in the bathroom and sometimes when Buster was around, I would give the odd uh, nose mark on the window a wee wipe with these. Yeah, I would recommend them. I wouldn't use them for cleaning, you know, it wouldn't replace my, my regular window cleaning methods. But for the mirrors and for a quick um, clean up, yeah, I'd definitely recommend them. So it does TV screens as well as windscreens, mirrors. But I find them really good on the mirrors in the bathroom. This next one I picked up, I picked this up in Tesco. It's 100% um, natural origin, no SLS or parabens, a faith in nature, orange handmade soap. Now it was 40 pence, so I picked up a couple. I think I maybe gave one or two to Brandon, but I kept one for myself. It's lovely, it's a really nice thick bar of soap. 
and I'm gonna actually pick them back up. <laughs> this next item here is a car shirt. Now, um, Steve's sister gave us a car shirt floor cleaner. Unfortunately, um, one of the bits had rusted away, so she gave it to us to see if Steve could fix it and we could keep it. But um, obviously that didn't work, but I've been using the, the floor cleaner um, use it up rather than letting it go to waste, but that has been really good. Yeah, I know it's designed for the, the machine, but I was just using it on the floors anyway. It was fine. I, oh, I've also refilled my hand soap. So this is Carex, the, the original one, and it's antibacterial hand wash, and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. I don't think it kills um, <laughs> viruses, but it's just the action of the, the soap and um, that's what kills the viruses, getting the kind of fatty um, virus off your hands. So yep, always keep one of these in the kitchen just so that if you've come in from doing something, you can just go and wash your hands. And I use soap in my bathrooms, but yeah, we're using a lot of that as you can, as you can imagine. And this next one I got from Steve's sister. It's Home Inspiration by Yankee Candle and it's bright grapefruit. Now normally I'm not a massive fan of grapefruit but this one had a lovely scent. Normally I think grapefruit can smell a bit. Can either be really nice or there's something about it that I'm not a fan of. Oh, another bleach. As I say, please don't worry. I haven't used these bleaches all over the course of a month. It has been a few months that this has been piling up for. And the sock. <laughs> I think that was made for the washing basket. Uh, one one kind of last cleaning product here is bicarbonate of soda. Uh, yep, you might think that should be in the baking cupboard, but that's got lots of uses. I used this just to sprinkle on my bed um, and then I gave it a good hoover. It's good at picking up odours and anything. Um, so yeah, I, I hoover my bed regularly, but I thought I'd seen this online. I thought, my mattress is about two years old. So I thought I'll just sprinkle it on it and then hoover it up. So, um, I don't know if it made any difference, but it's supposed to help. So, yep. Next item I have here is an amazing candle. I think I got this from Steve's sister as well. My sister-in-law. Um, Yankee Candle Home Inspiration Cozy Up um, Candle. There we go. And, um, yep, that was well used. <laughs> well loved. That will go in the recycling now. And, um... Oh, I picked this up from Aldi. It's a hotel collection and it's number one, lime, basil and mandarin. And um, that was a reed diffuser and I think it's still in Brandon's room. But it smells lovely. Now, this was something that I got for fun from the Cherries website. It's the Parma Violet reed diffuser. Um, <laughs> the smell wasn't overly strong, but Steve would say to me, he kept smelling Parma Violets and he couldn't understand it. And I forgot all about it. It was in the corner. And then I remembered why he was smelling it. So this is a little um, candle that I've been using. Yankee Candle, a calm and quiet place. Burned that, it was lovely. I've got really into burning candles, I never used to. And this is another Yankee Candle one and it's fresh cut roses. Um, I keep, I've got a little miniature Yankee candle and I just pop them back in that and burn them. And this one here is Coconut Splash. You can actually still smell it. It smells amazing. Oh, and one more item here. <laughs> it's my um, Summer Fresh and it is uh, that hand soap. Um, there, the wrap is there. So yeah, that's, that's a few wee bits and pieces that I've got through over the last couple of months. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, leave me a, a like, a thumbs up <laughs> and um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I always forget to say that. So as Freya would say, hit the bell, like, subscribe and smash that bell. <laughs> Catch you later guys, bye.